uh, Wes Regan, and uh, my voice is lower than normal today because I was shredding in a karaoke last night. Um, <clears throat> but I'm really uh, pleased to have the opportunity to speak on this panel today with uh, Sherry and Dave and Jordan. And uh, thank you, Elias, for, uh, for asking to part, be part of it, and you, Jordan, as well. I've worked in uh, the downtown east side uh, in the field of community economic development since uh, late December 2009, I guess early 2010, to be honest. And uh, in that time, I've seen some incredible, uh, incredible work around social enterprise being done there. Uh, I worked in business development and communications for a it was essentially a 3P organization, public-private partnership of sorts, called uh, Building Opportunity for Business. Uh, and from there, I uh, transitioned into my current role as executive director for the Hastings Crossing Business Improvement Association. And uh, we're a BIA that's driven uh, very much by a social mandate as much as an economic mandate. Uh, I would venture to say as well, uh, in cultural and economic. We really see ourselves as um, more than just a BIA. We do see ourselves as a, as a local economic development engine and a community capacity building organization. We connect uh, a lot of the work that we do uh, bringing value for money to our stakeholders, which are uh, property owners and businesses in our specific catchment area, uh, by connecting their wants and needs to the ability of residents in the downtown east side to deliver a range of services and sometimes goods uh, that help us to deliver that programming. So anything from building uh, maintenance to uh, uh, neighborhood patrols, safety, um, calling in, uh, mattresses and alleys or uh, notifying the authorities of something suspicious, uh, helping us with our cultural events and uh, engaging with the low-income artistic community, uh, all sorts of different uh, initiatives that, that we've been uh, helping to bridge uh, with different partners in in order to create. I'm also the uh, vice president and co-founder of Urban Stream Innovation, and that is a straight-up corporation, <laughs> it's not a social enterprise. But uh, it's one that was uh, formed, once again, with very strong environmental and social principles in mind. Uh, we've developed food systems technologies that uh, help urban and remote communities uh, to create more resilient food systems. Uh, we uh, deal with both uh, food uh, scraps diversion, and we also grow food uh, via hydroponic and aquaponic technologies. And we have a few units here in Vancouver that we're just building up right now and in the Sunshine Coast, too. Uh, and through that work, I have been uh, closely involved with uh, capacity building in the local urban farming movement. I call it more than just a sector, it's, it really is a movement. Uh, and that, I've seen some incredible uh, value-driven businesses uh, in that area as well. And we've seen a lot of lawn conversion, we've seen projects like Soul Food here in town. Uh, these are really raising Vancouver's profile as a sustainable city. and. And it's not because of anything directly that the city has done, aside from laying down the gauntlet, which I'll give them credit for with their GCAT 2020 uh, goals. But uh, the, the initiative is taken by uh, literally a lot of students, either faculty, uh, faculty of Land and Food Systems or UBC Farm or Kwantlen and SFU and other schools. Uh, these are young entrepreneurs that are fresh out of school that see that the world needs innovative solutions, uh, particularly regarding the food system. And they've been doing incredible work uh, here in Vancouver to make our community more food resilient and more food fun for that matter. <laughs> uh, I guess to, so that's my, my background. I'm an urban geographer by, by educational background, uh, proud graduate here of SFU and my parents for that matter. Uh, so I tend to see things in, in spatial contexts and I, I tend to look at these issues of economics very much uh, in, in the context of scale and place. I think place is very important to put things in context of place is very important. And I think the world is ready and demanding a new paradigm of business, frankly, because uh, I think it's pretty clear that a lot of our old institutions and ways of doing things are not currently enabling.